please sign into YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Now enjoy Cine Talk with the one and only Cine Bros. What's up, Cinemaniacs? We're back and we're back with Cine Talk episode number 43. And what is Cine Talk? Well, it's a show where movie lovers get together and talk movies. We also kind of, you know, get off on topics from time to time. Sometimes we'll talk about get off on topics. I see that face. Thing. You should We're see. starting way too <laughs> early right now. <laughs> we, we also get off topic. <laughs> <laughs> please reword what you just said. Please. We get off topic sometimes. <laughs> get in anywhere in the entertainment realm. Sometimes we just start talking about that one time where we talked about jarts. Um, yeah, sometimes that happens. Uh, you know, Saved by the Bell came up a couple times. Yeah, mm -hmm. we just we we really we, yeah. It just and now it, that we're more loosey goosey. Yes, it's okay. It's okay now. Yeah, back There's then it wasn't okay. You were yeah. like mad at me most of the time. Yeah, you should see it. You're like, had, what are you? Doing? I had to take my belt off. <laughs> And then Chad knew he was getting really out of line. I knew I was getting a whooping. <laughs> Brought back um, memories. So anyway, as you know, we have the Chad here today. Yes. For shizzle dizzle. For shizzle dizzle. <laughs> and we also have a new guest. Uh -oh. And that person is Carly Kingsley. Hi. Happy hey. to be here. Yes. So uh, for those that don't know you from the Twitterverse and all that stuff. There's a lot that don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> quite a, she has quite a few followers out there. Um, she does a lot of writing. She uh, chef as well, right? I am, yes. Yeah, and uh, so she and she is a, a master of cocktails. I am. <laughs> I am. So she, uh, and she does a lot of different podcasts from time to time. And uh, so you can check her out on Twitter. The, her, her link was right below there. It's at Carly Kingsley. Oh. I, yeah. I have That's it up exciting. on there. Yeah. That's like a Man, so. See that? Yeah, you you got it up there. So it, it is uh, official officially now. on there. Yeah. Um, and uh, so yeah, we um, we want to welcome you to the show. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're glad that you first, can finally make it. First guest on. in a while. I know it's a first guest in a while. A first show in and weeks. Yeah. I mean, we've been taking besides some our other side this. little shows. I mean, yeah. wait, this is the first time in the studio in a while. Yes, first time in the studio and actually doing both audio and video, yeah, which is no. doesn't happen very often yeah. of late. Yeah. But hopefully start getting a little more regular. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I'm happy we're finally doing something together because I feel like we've been talking about it for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I will be honest, I was like, yeah, all right, it'll happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe yeah. someday. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but and here we are. I try and follow through on all my suggestions. <laughs> 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 the problem is, is I have so many out there. <laughs> we still have to Skype with the guy who, I think, where does he live? He lives like in... Uh, Portugal or something like that. But really? he's a director, the the film vibe guy. Oh, really? um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Nuno. Yeah. Uh, so he he lives, you know, on very far away. Um, Portugal is pretty far yeah, away. So yeah, so he lives very far away. He has there's a multiple, you know, time difference, so we have to kind of figure that all out. Um, but I told him I wanted to Skype him in at some point in time and have him on, you know, at least for a segment. We can just um, fly him in for the show. Just use, fly him back out. Use that 55 cents we've made on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we made fifty five cents. Oh, sh where's my piece of this action here? <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to split it <laughs> equally amongst four people. I feel like you guys could be huge in Portugal. But, but, I feel well, like that could be your niche, like yeah. your corner market. Right? We Portugal. were very popular in uh, Canada for a little while <laughs> um, until Chad started going off on rants. And he was asking about until what it was two f bombs. No, well, no, he he. He said, "What kind? Of, so there's French Canadians. Yeah. Are there American Canadians?" Oh. <laughs> it was an honest question. It's an honest question. Um, You're not welcome back. <laughs> I'm, I'm like part Canadian too, so I mean, I Check can make fun of him. He says a boot from sometimes. I said a boot. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're actually talking about a boot. Though. A boot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about a boot. A boot. Uh, a boot. A boot. So we are also very popular in Australia for a little while. Doug was popular in Asia. He, <laughs> for some reason, there was a lot of Asians that yeah, oh, that's true. loved All Doug. All over Asia. Like, I think it was particularly in North Korea. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> the North Koreans love Doug. He, they, they play him on their like Jumbotron out there. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, anyway. Okay. All right, so <laughs> as you can see, yes, we get off topic. Yeah. Not getting off on topics, we get off topic. All right, <laughs> All right so um, 
Is there any? You saw a movie recently. You saw Ghostbusters, right? Was I just saw night? Ghostbusters, yeah, and yeah. I saw uh, Infiltrators, too, uh, Infiltrator. Yeah. What did you? What, just to go over real quick, because we we haven't. I haven't done a lot of reviews lately. I just haven't had the time. Mm -hmm. um, you want to talk about Ghostbusters for Loved a second? Loved it. Yeah. Loved I think because me and Brian both saw. We he liked it more than I did. Mm -hmm. There was a couple parts that just kind of were lost on me. Mm -hmm. But um, overall. I thought it was just a fun movie. I thought they did a good job, kind of recapturing the the fun and like great chemistry between the all the ladies and the that were the Ghostbusters. I which I was gonna I thought it was gonna be a little, it was gonna be a little tough from time to time just because of the, the way that the trailer sold it. Yeah, but I loved Kate McKinnon. Mm -hmm. She was so she crazy. Got she, she got was, the most. Laughs. She got the most. Laughs. Her and Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Both of them together were just mm -hmm. amazing in the show, yeah. uh, in the movie. So, um, is there anything else that you really? Do you like any of the cameos that happened and stuff? Yeah, all the, uh, the. I mean, I thought the Bill Murray one was the worst. Yeah, he was the worst. I mean, and, and he had the most, and yeah. he had the most screen time too. Yeah. It and, was the he was the most forced. Yeah, and I I didn't like it, but when Dan Aykroyd showed up, I was like, yes, and mm. it was just so short and just like it was so good and. Um, Everybody had a good cameo except for Bill Murray. Yeah. I mean, as far as the cameos go, my favorite was Winston. Because, like, it got to the point where, you know, they had – you kind of heard about somebody that was in the background. Yeah. And then when he showed up, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it's Winston. Because he got so put off to the side mm -hmm. in the originals. And – I'm glad that they kind of made it up. Like, he was there at the very end. Yeah. Like, you know, and, like, you're just like, yes, Winston's there. That's great. Yeah. Um, so it was it was really cool to see that he, he they made a good appearance. Because I, I like Dan Aykroyd, too, but I thought he was this, the best. This is, this, is the reason, this is a movie, a good example of a movie that this is why I don't like trailers. Mm -hmm. Because the trailers made this movie to, to look horrible. Mm -hmm. And it was complete opposite. Yeah, I mean, it was the, the, the jokes like, are funny. They, they all hit. They stretch things out in the trailers so much, like that that whole scene. We've we kind of talked about it before. That scene where they kind of you have um, uh, Kristen Wiig and uh, Melissa McCarthy, McCarthy kind of talking, and they're they're both saying, "Let's go," and they kind of say it at the same time. They're like, "Oh well, oh, well." They made they kind of like drag that out in the, in trailer. the trailer, and in the movie, it was. Much quicker. If you and it flowed if much you, nicer. If you blinked, you missed it. Yeah, it was. It flowed it was, much nicer. It, it flowed nicer, but because it wasn't it was a funny short. line. Yeah. But they were trying to make it funny in the trailer, and it did not hit at all. <laughs> so I'm glad that they kind of just sped that up or took whatever they had to take out to make it go. Much the, the only the negative movie. I had from the movie was I, I thought the plot kind of dropped off midway. Mm -hmm. uh, they they had a really good uh, story up until maybe halfway. And then it looked like they kind of like dropped the ball a little bit. Yeah. And they didn't explain that much. And you just kind of kind of accept what happened. Happened. Like it wasn't like fully explained. I wasn't a big fan of the villain. The main villain, that guy. He just didn't really. I've seen him in other. Sh like he's been in the league. He's but, been... I know, but he was not anywhere near like Zool. No, or, no. Like, he he did not have that, you know, that thing that kind of. You're not going to be quoting anything that he said no, no, from years not. for years on. Yeah. Um, so it's one of those things that, like, I, you know, I'm a big fan of mo villains in movies. I feel like they are, like, one of the things that can take your movie to the next level. And that just didn't happen. I take back me. my comment earlier. <laughs> what? The, be the best of cameo was Slimer. <laughs> really? You think so? so he you, was awesome. You know who was also great is the little picture they had of Harold Ramis. <laughs> that was yeah. like, oh, yeah. they get, yay. Yeah. Yeah. How did you guys feel about it being a female cast? Have you talked about that on the show yet? We, we've we talked about it a little bit yeah, here and there. Um, we I was okay with it. I was fine. I'm like, I had no problem whatsoever with it. Like, I have no problem changing cast like the the either the um the sex or the the color or anything of a cast member like i'm okay with james bond being black i am fine with that that there's nothing in his <laughs> chat we don't want to no, get into that there's again. nothing in his you know nature that said he had white parents and he was a white child that was born from those white parents it's just that he is a suave and very badass person so that person can be anybody. He could be Asian. He could be white. He, he just has always been white. Mm. So I think that's the biggest thing. Like you have in this cast, there is nothing saying that it had to be four guys. They could have made it three guys and a girl. They could have made it, you know, uh, four, 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 like, but they laid, like they did this time. They made four girls and guy they, they had Chris Hemsworth be the receptionist and it worked perfectly. It was so good. At first I was 
a little skeptical about it. Mm -hmm. But then I saw the names attached. I'm not the biggest Melissa McCarthy fan. Yeah. Oh, I love her. But oh, I did see. <laughs> I, I I didn't think she was versatile at first until I saw her in uh, the the Bill Murray movie um, Saint Vincent. Yeah, Saint Vincent. She was great in that, and she was really good in that. And I'm like, all right, you know what? She can she can act a little bit. So. I just watched Spy again recently. Yeah, too. and that was oh, a good one. So good. And that was a good one too. So, uh, once I saw the names attached to it, I was like, "All right, I'm in for this." And then I liked the fact that they didn't mirror the characters after the original yeah. character. They all have their distinct like. You can't point at one of them and say, "This is him." Mm -hmm. This this is her. She's supposed to be him. Like yeah. she's supposed to be him. Like, it, I, I like how they did it. They did it very good. Um. Yeah, what about you? I, did you, have you? Have you gone to see it? I have not seen Ghostbusters. No? Had you ever, with the trailers and everything, have there been anything that has kind of sold you on wanting to go see Melissa it? Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Oh. yeah? See, yeah, and Kristen Wiig could do no wrong That's in my eyes. Like, I think she's just, I love Kristen she's Wink. a comical genius, yeah. and I just love her bubbly personality. Mm. It's just, she's just, just awesome. See, now I don't know how I feel about you if you can't love Melissa McCarthy like I do. Mm. She's like oh. that. He's coming around. He's hey, with a good like, movie. No, I, don't like I don't she's, hate her. I just she, her her stick was getting old for me. Her <laughs> goofy her her goofy like She's that girl on the first day of school where you're like, all right, this annoying chick in the class, or whatever. Then you get to like maybe January and you're like, all right, she's pretty funny. Then you yeah. get to the end of the year and you're like, I can't wait to see her again. That was yeah. awesome. She made me laugh. I, I mean, <laughs> I always thought she was funny. I just wanted to see her branch out and do more and actually. You want to see her in a proof. serious movie? And and I did. So I, I came around. I mean, yeah. yeah. If she had a serious role in St. Vincent. So. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Yeah, that was, that was a good movie. Yeah, that it mean, was good. That, there's no arguing on my end. I think I like her. I don't think I, I want just to don't... see her in a serious movie though. That's like seeing the person who makes you laugh all the time sad. It makes you that much sadder. <sighs> I like seeing comedians like, in serious roles, like Adam Sandler and Punch, uh, Lo punch Love. No, punch, uh, punch, Adam Sandler's punch, a different story. Drunk Punch Love. What drunk, is that? Drunk, drunk Punch, punch lo drunk Love. love. Punch, punch, punch Drunk Love. Yes, that's punch. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I can never get drunk that Drunk right. Love Punch. Yeah. He was also good in Spanglish, too. I really like that movie. What's the new Netflix one that he was in? The Do Over? Yeah. Or Ridiculous Six? The Do Over was great. actually pretty good. They're both great. Do you think so? <laughs> the Do Over wasn't that bad. It was better than the the, the weird it. seven or whatever it's called. I Ridiculous Six. I loved it. I, oh I still God. I can watch that movie over and over. It's just so utterly stupid. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I just love that. I, I'm I'm gonna go out and say it. I love Adam Sandler, and he can almost do no wrong in my eyes. I love um, Adam Sandler and David Spade together, but Do Over was just like, all right, we, are we going somewhere with this? Like, <laughs> going with this? I enjoyed it. I, I it was watchable for me, um, but. I do like Adam Sandler. I mean, I think he's made some really good movies. So, I I'll take the bad movies as long as I get a couple good movies out of them. I, I think like, we get more good than bad. I think people are very harsh uh, on Adam. Sandler. I don't know. He's made a lot of movies, and a lot of them were bad. No. Yeah. What? What do you mean? Besides what? Little Nicky and that one where he was a sister and himself. Little Nicky was great. No, I was horrible. He had the one. What was oh the one gosh. where he was? He was the dad of Andy Samberg. No, that was great. No, that was horrible. That was amazing. That was, okay, your uh, your description of amazing and mine are two different Zohan things. Zohan is amazing. No, it wasn't. Yes, it is. I own that on multiple formats. That's great. <laughs> you I might be the only one. Yeah. You might be the only one that owned that movie on oh, DVD. Oh, I love that movie. I could watch that movie over and over again. I'm glad you can. Yeah. I mean, he's been in Pixels, some... Pixels, great. Pixels was not great. It was good. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was fun, but it wasn't... You can't say it I was might be going a little crazy amazing. with great, but Zohan I did. I do like a lot. Amazing, I would say The Godfather is amazing. I wouldn't put The Godfather in... in uh, no, those are perfect. Those are in perfect Pixels movies. in the same Godfather, like, Godfather 2, perfect movies. That's... There's no... You, if you say something negative about those movies, you have issues. Amazing is a big word for a movie. Listen, no, it's up no. there with the classics. You got yeah. like Rocky, yeah. Scarface, Pixels. Pixels. Yeah. <laughs> Pixels is right yeah. up there. The do over. Yeah. <laughs> no, the do over wasn't that good. <laughs> if we were saying like movies that were just Netflix movies, yeah. it, it could be amazing. Like the do over. Because there were, I mean, there were the Beast of No Nations, the only movie. I like the Ridiculous Six more than the do over. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are we talking about today anyway? Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we moving on to like our favorite movies of the year? Yeah, or? yeah. let's go. Let's move on. Let's go on because we could get off topic forever. Um, so we are gonna we're gonna switch over into the favorite movies of the second quarter. Mm. So that would be April, May, and June. Very good. Got it? Very good. All right. Okay. So I gave a list to all of them, what, what, all the big releases. There are some other ones that were limited and that I didn't Chad use, probably saw. And I didn't use any of your list. <laughs> so you took all the limited releases. I took limited, all the limited yeah. releases. Yeah. Okay. So he, he went and saw like The Lobster and all these kind of movies. Don't like Swiss Army my, Man. Don't give me giving my movies away. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I am doing ones that are most likely on your list because they are very limited release. Yeah. All, all right. right. You searched them down. So we'll, we'll, we'll start this. All right. Are we just gonna go one by one and just? Because mine's in no order. We're gonna give by the three. Way. Yeah, we're gonna give. We're gonna give we'll a do, few. Okay. So we're gonna do a few. You got, you have four because Carly only has like, like one. one. I got like nine. Um, I got that. nine total. This is why I'm, the, so, I'm the perfect person to have yeah. on this show. Well, I think this. <laughs> well, this is what I like. I like about. I, I like having people that aren't crazy moviegoers like we are that go see one two movies every week. Mm -hmm. I like to have those people that, you know, take their, they actually think about what they're going to spend this hard earned money on uh, to go see the film, to go see the films. You know, it's like, it's, it's sometimes I think I should be thinking a little bit more in some of these movies. Yeah, that I see. exactly. Cause we go see the worst, the best, the, you know, okay. Like but it, I got to. So it's, yeah. I was going to say, I didn't come here to talk about the movies I've seen. I've come here to, uh, see what I should go see. Well, oh, perfect. I so thought you were going to say, I thought she was going to say, I didn't come here to talk about movies. Yeah. yeah I didn't, no. What the hell are we going to talk about? <laughs> I don't care what? They lured <laughs> me in with an iced coffee. Yeah. I heard beach donuts. I heard there was donuts. <laughs> Uh, All right, so let's uh, let's start this off here. All right, so uh, favorite movies of the second quarter. Mm. Give your three, and go ahead and just briefly talk about, but mainly talk about one, like one of your favorite ones. So you can figure one which one you want to really let's, talk let's about. Start with the guests. Okay. All right, yeah. since she wants, since she has the the one. I'll give you one that was my favorite, and two that I do want to see. Okay. okay. So um, my favorite was The Boss. Okay. Oh, oh, Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> A movie that I have yet I to also, see. Can appreciate any movie that does an epic girl uh, Girl Scout fight scene. Mm. That well, you saw that, that from the fantastic. trailer. Yeah, was it really? Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, it was, was it? Was it, it was a long a, scene? Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. It was right up there, <laughs> right up there with like some classic fights. Like the Anchorman scene where you have the, all the the newscasters fighting together. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking more like when Rocky beats the Russian. It was oh, like right up there. With wow. That. Yeah. That that's is, powerful. <laughs> that is a big pedestal to put on. Yeah, a seriously. <laughs> wow. Because that's, that's like yeah. whenever I watch that, you know, I like I, I feel excited. I feel like honored to be an American. Uh, you know, he ended the Cold War with a knockout punch to it's mm. just like that. Chicago. Yeah, like it's that's just like that. I kind of wanted to, you know, be a kid again, join the Girl Scouts. <laughs> I can't do that now. Obviously, that'd be a little weird. But well, you can. I mean, I'm I sure might, they'll accept you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. You can become a they leader, right? Well. You got to start the brownies. <laughs> like Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> See, after this, they're going to be like, stay away from children. <laughs> You're not allowed around children anymore. <sighs> All right, um, so the boss, yep. Yeah. Two that I want to see. Mm -hmm. Alice through the Looking Glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Big, big fan of anything that has to do with Alice. Um, that's more probably literary than anything. And Central Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because anything that has a tagline definitely go see that. that takes a big Johnson and a little heart has got me sold. Yeah. Yes. Um, I will say right now, Chad and I have both seen it. It is a very funny movie. Yeah. It is like this year's Spy. It's um, it's not quite as good as Spy, but yeah. like it, it just, you laugh throughout the whole movie. And then on top of that, you don't get those big gut busting laughs that you did yeah. in Spy, but you get more laughs in this. Oh, laughs. it's just, yeah, it's like constant. And The Rock is so good, that, so good. That didn't make my list. I don't even think it would make my like comedy list so mm -hmm. far this year. It was, no, it was yeah. funny, but I mean, <laughs> I, I, I've seen I've seen 25 movies in the last three months. Yeah, I have not seen that many. And um, the the I'm gonna go against what you told me anyway, and I'm just gonna list off. Thanks, buddy. Like, the, the the big name movies that were really good. I thought the Jungle Book, mm -hmm. uh, the the uh, Money Monster, I thought was really good. Uh, X Men Apocalypse was great. Okay. Loved it. And then uh, we saw a movie that was wide release, but it didn't do that well. Was Pop Star. Mm -hmm. Which was a very underrated movie. It was okay. It was. It had. It was. It had its moments. But if I had, I'm, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna tell you guys the, the movies that I think you should. No ridiculous see six. And, 
<laughs> that you should see <laughs> and they're all limited release movies uh definitely the lobster mm-hmm. i think that uh that movie was so good can you explain the lobster no I think i've heard this no, well, there's you, no. You could give a quick little synopsis. It's, it's like a five line synopsis. Yeah, five lines. Gun to your head. Yeah. Go. Go. It All was, right. So it must have been great. It was. It was very different. <laughs> it's. It's a. It's a big time thinker. So like, it's what it is. It's is a like dark the guy, comedy. He goes to like a retreat to go find a dystopian love of his life. future. Okay. But you, you have you have a certain amount of time. You have a time frame. Mm-hmm. To find this love, and if you don't find this love, you get turned into an animal that you picked oh ahead that of time. you preselected before so, you went and, into the hospital. And his, or the it's place. his brother. His brother that, got turned into a dog. His, got turned into a dog, and who's like his friend in the kind of the show. So it's like, it's one. It's a very you get John, John C. Rallies in it. Dry humor, which is great, and it's very dry. It is dry humor. Um, it, it's a thinking movie, but it was it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. I mean, and I'm going to follow it up with another movie that, and this movie is Swiss Army Man. The you Farting got, Corpse. The Farting Corpse. <laughs> this the direction points north so you can find your way home. <laughs> <laughs> this is just another movie. It's so hard to explain what the movie is about. And it, it, basically, it's it's Daniel Radcliffe. He's a dead body that helps a kid. And you said, what about Daniel Radcliffe in this movie? You said, it was, you said it was your favorite performance that he's ever done, including <laughs> all the Harry Potter. <laughs> might have been his best performance. <laughs> he, and he, he just plays a dead body, <laughs> and he helps a kid get off a deserted island. And that's the movie. I mean, and it sounds like it's a pretty dumb movie. And it is a dumb movie. It's but, short, though, isn't it? And it's, it's short, but it's two actors. They did an awesome job in it. Like and Cast Away on Steroids. Yeah, yeah. It's I like mean, a funny castaway almost. It's like, mm, we're going to recast the volleyball in the manner of Daniel Radcliffe playing dead body. Yeah, I mean, the, the concept of it is he uses Daniel Radcliffe as like a Swiss army knife. And that's where they got the name of the movie. Because he can do multiple different things to help this kid survive. Um, that's all I'm going to explain. So uh, definitely definitely see it. Because uh, you, if, if you, you haven't seen the trailer. Cause, because the trailer... We'll give you like the tone of the movie. If you if you explain the movie too much, you give it away. It's yeah. too many. Spoilers. I haven't I mean, seen that or the lobster. And my lobster synopsis for you was what he told me like a couple of months ago. Yeah. <laughs> that may have, may not be true. You know, it, it's pretty close. It's pretty no, close. it's real close. <laughs> and then my last one I'm going to mention is the movie that we both loved. Uh, Everybody mind wants like them. Everybody wants them. Uh, uh, see it. If you liked, uh, if you like Richard Link, uh, Linklater, mm-hmm. if you liked uh, Days and Confused, mm-hmm. uh, if you like baseball, mm-hmm. um, if you don't like baseball, because there's no baseball in the movie. There's a little baseball, <laughs> but the baseball in it is more of just them being like Goofy. having. They, they, they're just them forming their camaraderie. Yeah. Like they, it it builds on their camaraderie throughout. And it like was, being it a was team. and it's a fun college movie that's different. Than, Soundtrack's amazing. That soundtrack is Everybody amazing. Everybody wants them. <laughs> So too, <laughs> so good. Oh, I love it. They do rappers delight. Too, they right? do right yeah, at the, the beginning. Like, yeah. Aha, a hip, a hip, a hip, hip, hip hopper. You don't stop. <laughs> Rock it to the end. Damn. Oh, so good. And there you guys go. The whitest rapper ever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think Eminem might be a little whiter than me. Yeah, but he can actually rap. That's true. <laughs> so I'm the whitest white rap. Like my white rapping skills are mm. not. Like you, I, I've always lived in suburbia. Yeah, yeah. You you might be the best rapper out of Clinton. <laughs> Maybe. No, probably not. <laughs> I think my son can rap better than I can, <laughs> and he's eight. <laughs> so what, my daughter, who's three, can probably rap better than I can. <laughs> what were some of your favorite movies from this quarter? Well, everybody wants some. Yeah. Is definitely. I knew that would. Is be definitely in there. Um, I, all for the same reasons that you just said. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain America: Civil War yep. was an amazing. It was. It's probably my. It, it might be my favorite Marvel, the MCU universe. Might be my favorite movie out of that franchise. Like originally, it was the Avengers. I think this is better mm-hmm. than the Avengers. It was just f- more fun. The choreography was better. There was more story to it. Um, and it just wasn't all these characters coming together. And plus, the Spider-Man appearances were great. Mm-hmm. Um, seeing Ant-Man back, awesome. Just the, overall, the movie was just nonstop, go go go. Good plot, good story. Some you know great funny moments. So it's just a, an overall an amazing film that just needs to be watched, especially on the big screen if you get the chance. I mean, mm-hmm. it's still in the theater. Go see it if you can. Um, and then my favorite 
uh, probably in the last maybe couple of years mm. is the nice guys with Russell Crowe, mm. Ryan Gosling, the set design, the, the, the way that they dressed, the soundtrack, the chemistry between these two guys was so perfect. Mm. Like they were two, like they were two investigators, like uh, private investigators. Mm. Um, one of them was licensed, the other one wasn't. But the one who wasn't licensed was the one that was kind of a little bit more politically correct on how he did things. Whereas the guy who was licensed <laughs> kind of just flew by the seat of his pants, was trying to more, he was more of a con man than anything else. And, uh, but they worked w so well together. It's just, you know, Shane Black doing his, his Shane yeah, Blackness. Shane, Black uh, Black <laughs> Shane Blackness. He does a great job with, you know, buddy cop type yeah. movies and the, just balancing these two different personalities so well together and like ryan gosling is a comedic gene like i don't know if you saw the big short mm. no it's an amazing film that's it's that Netflix might be now. that might be tied for like the, with this movie um because i love that movie i watched it probably about a half a dozen times already um and this movie showed how funny ryan gosling can absolutely be because he is hilarious mm. i'm excited actually to watch that movie because all i saw was the trailer but that was a trailer that i watched twice because i was like that was gold yeah russell crowe and ryan gosling my favorite uh, was the um was it ryan gosling's daughter or mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. like, she is great yeah she still and glory rice that you can just tell like the chemistry between all of them when she's like so you beat people up for money right mm -hmm. can you can you beat janet up he's like how much do you got <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I love this. This is gonna be a great movie she is she plays because you know what like uh, sometimes children mm -hmm. right, in these movies how they can try and make them seem older than they are the way that they talk or they can just be totally annoying mm -hmm. and kind of take away from the movie she played kind of a almost like an adult but you could tell that she had to be that because of how careless her father kind of was um, but there's another dark story that's kind of both in the deeper um, it's deeper in that movie with their relationship and why they're so close and why she is the way she is. She's so good. I, I you know I can't recommend recommend this movie mm. even like higher than and it's more than ridiculous six. You need to see this movie. <laughs> that means you need to see it. <laughs> like, I Absolutely. Right now Put that on the it. list. Put yeah. that on the list. A must see. Yeah. By Shane Moore. It is very very good. There's a lot of movies um, on that list. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I also had like Central Intelligence kind of on the cusp. I was going to see what guys, what you guys kind of picked. Um, and, but yeah, because so Central Intelligence was probably my one of my favorite comedies that came out. I, I, would, I would, I would like to add The Conjuring too. Yeah, because it was really good. Yeah, you said um, that was great. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. So yeah. I would put that in the list of movies that I think people should see if if you like The Conjuring. I mean, like if you like those horror horror kind of films, legit horror. All right, so let's get into least favorite. Um, because I, I mean, now that we've given all our favorites, I mean, this is how are all these people that were in these movies, they're all asking, acting. What like was that taking? Like Cuba Gooden Jr. when he won for Jerry Maguire. <laughs> when Carrie, Cuba Gooden Jr. won for Jerry Maguire, he went bananas. Um, he didn't win one for Snow Dogs. <laughs> Boat trip. Boat, Boat trip. trip. That, yeah. that was a great movie. That, yeah, that was that an was, amazing. That is movie. a funny movie. <laughs> that is a really funny movie. Rosalind Sanchez in that movie, she is very, very underratedly like, gorgeous. When they go to the buffet and they had the fucking dick-shaped fucking icicle things. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Just the, everything about that movie is so good. It's brilliant. It's genius. Um, all right. So we're going to get into the worst movies, the Ooh. least favorites uh, over the last uh, few months. Mm. What do you got, man? All right. We'll work our way down. We'll start with the chat. I'm going to go with two of them. And uh, you're not going to like me for this one. Oh, no. But the nice guys made my list of movies that I felt. You tell you tell the felt. group why. I just felt flat for me. I didn't laugh. Um, I didn't like their chemistry. Mm -hmm. I thought the girl was the shining part of the whole movie. Yeah. Uh, she, I thought she did the best job out of all the acting. And I like Ryan, uh, Ryan Gosling. I'm mm -hmm. not the biggest fan of uh, the other guy there. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe, Crow, there he's, you go. He's like one of the greatest actors of our generation. Mm -hmm. Um, moving on. <laughs> but I, I did like the set, the set design. I liked how the it was a, a good throwback to the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, they had the, all the, the, the clothing right and stuff like that. It just the it just fell flat for me for some reason. And I just didn't enjoy it. So it was kind of a disappointment more than a bad movie. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it was a bad movie. It was just a big disappointment for me. Okay. And then <laughs> the next movie is probably the worst movie I've ever seen in my lifetime. Oh, the Returgence. <laughs> Independence Day 2, 
the resurgence was horrible. Like there was no <laughs> good, there was nothing good about it except for Bill Pullman. And <sighs> Brian actually convinced me last week that the only reason why I liked Bill Pullman in it, yeah. because everybody else was so bad. <laughs> it wasn't because Bill Pullman was good. It was just like the bar was set so freaking low on that movie. Excellent. The best of the worst. That he just looked good in it. And mm -hmm. I, I can't tell you how much don't see this movie <laughs> i'm glad they're not gonna make another one like it's oh, actually no. doing okay no it's not doing okay. overseas it's made over 220 million dollars listen up overseas <laughs> who's ever watching this movie for all our fans in portugal <laughs> <laughs> the little corner of asia is loving it oh god mm. it was such a bad movie speaking of asia ghostbusters got banned in asia yeah and uh china in china, china. Yeah. yeah i can't believe that uh -huh. because of the ghosts side of it yeah ghosts they don't believe in ghosts and they don't want to have people that are on the fence about believing in ghosts mm. over there so they don't they don't play those kind of uh -huh. movies so th those are my two movies I, I mean i i would say see the nice guys because mm. it wasn't a horrible movie but don't and someone see, else might have a different experience don't than you. see independence day <laughs> I, I'm, I'm i seriously i haven't heard anybody say it was good nobody zero Zero people. I'm waiting for you to watch it because I want to. You watch seem it. like the type of person. Oh no, that was a good movie. No, oh yeah, okay. I laughed the whole time. Right, it was right. so good. Well, I might laugh <laughs> it at it amazing. the whole time, but it's not a comedy. <laughs> no, you won't laugh. I'm telling you. Have you been working on that impression? <laughs> a little while. It was spot on. It really was. It was like perfect. That movie was amazing. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, the head bob and everything. I, I feel like I'm looking in a mirror. That's why he close was late. my eyes and. Go That's ahead. why I was late. I That's was working. That's why he was late. Yeah. Was in the mirror, like yeah. gotta nail this today. Yeah. This movie was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, out of the two movies, that you saw, <laughs> what was your least favorite of those two? <laughs> go ahead, Carly. What do you say? What do you say? Out of the movies. You I don't know about movies that I hated, but I'll go with movies that I thought should not even have been made. Oh, okay. So let's go God's Not Dead 2, because okay, I can't yeah. believe there was a God's Not Dead 1 and yeah. 2. <laughs> not to be confused with its original title, that is uh, Melissa Joan Hart's Not Dead. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like, Joey and Melissa, they have a show, that, you know, Joey? Yeah. It, it was a show on, like, yeah. on TV for a little while, and we had like yeah. six seasons. Yeah. I can't believe that crap. I can't, six seasons. I heard it was good. I feel like they couldn't believe it either. They're like, we're still going? Yeah. What, 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 I, heard it was, I heard it was amazing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I will second Independence Day, because no thank you. That just didn't need to be done. No, no, I thought it needed to be no, done. No, no. But no. better. I like Brian's uh, feeling on it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The whole tagline is like, they had 20 years to prepare. It's like, yeah, you had 20 freaking years to prepare. How did you come up with this crap? But I feel like after an alien invasion, we're like, meh, this happened to us. We're not going to let it happen again. Like, yeah. what are we preparing for? Really? That should be one and done in my book. Yeah, it was just, it was so bad. And Will Smith made the right decision and not making, and not being. Well, we think so. No, we haven't no, seen we, Suicide Squad no, yet. We, no, we know so. We How? know so. See, that's just the end of it. How can you make Independence Day without Will Smith? How? They they did. I know they they, <laughs> they did. They attempted. They, they tried it. <laughs> I don't know. How did they make After Earth with Will Smith? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> your two worst movies, Jade. Uh, my two are, and it's because I've only seen like ten mm -hmm. uh, this quarter. Uh, I say only ten. That's yeah, like, uh, yeah. It's not like that's three movies a month. That's, it's not. It's not that's too bad. Three years for most people. Uh, yeah. Um, I saw uh, my. Second on this list is Hardcore Henry. And the main thing is the reason why is it was just the story was just so not good. Mm -hmm. And the way that they kind of did, they followed that guy through the first person mm -hmm. just didn't work out well. And it really um, took away from one of the greatest performances you will see from mm -hmm. one actor. And that is Charlotte Copley's yeah. character in this movie who he plays a bunch of different people mm -hmm. changes his accent he you know changes his personality just throughout the whole movie and he is worth going to see that movie yeah. for um but it's tough because the rest of it is just like the action in it is lost because and it looks like it could be one of those movies that the action that could have been really cool if you could see it mm. but you couldn't see it like people are just flying around and it's like that's how you would see it through your own eyes but you can't 
actually get a real perspective of what's going on because you're looking at it through his eyes, which kind of stunk. Um, so I'm hoping that they kind of stay away they from were, those kind of movies. I think they were hoping for a Blair Witch Project here. Yeah. And, and just hit a home run with something new. Yeah. And I think it's going to be cool to use. But Blair Witch had a, kind like, of a, had a kind of a story to it. I mean, it was after when you find out fake. what happened. Yeah. Um, it's kind of stupid, but they brilliantly marketed it. Oh yeah, and yeah. it was you know it was it was kind of cool. I but. think it's a good concept to put in the films, like uh, not for the whole movie, right. just like randomly yes. put it in little shots here and there. Yeah, I mean they do it well. Sometimes. I I, I enjoyed it for but. what it was. I, I don't th- I didn't think it was a ter- like the plot line was terrible. Yeah, but I I enjoy I I enjoyed myself while I was watching it i mean i thought it was fun and like you said he it was worth watching just for him yeah i think i gave it a five and a half it was kind of i think i was right around there too. yeah i mean i've given i've had i've had the pleasure to go see some movies this next quarter that are much lower than this yeah (laughs) but Mm. and then also my my least favorite is teenage mutant ninja turtles i gave that a two out of Mm. ten and uh it is i don't agree with that at all it is a big michael bay film i know that he didn't direct it but you could tell his fingerprints are all over it there's Mm -hmm. explosion filled forced bad humor (laughs) with you know him and um oh the joke with uh the uh uh the rhino bebop rocksteady they had that joke where yeah, yeah, yeah. they go and compare each other's, you know, penises, and they're like, "Oh, my man!" Because yeah, yeah. they're all big now, and they have not like, "Oh, they're all happy." Like, You're really? Blah, blah, blah. That's that's a Michael Bay joke. Yeah. That's what he does in his movies. He thinks it's hilarious, so he puts those in all the time. You had plenty of Megan Fox's shots of her. Ass. Not as much as the first um, one. Though. Yeah, but you had plenty of shots that were like. They have all these people coming down and shit, but they have to show it from Megan Fox's butt, <laughs> so that you can see it in the background. Like, if you, if there's no, if you have no Megan Fox in a it. movie, you might as well utilize her for what she's there for. There's she's no She's not there for, for her it. acting. There's just no reason for it. But she's whatsoever. not there for her acting. And then on top of all that, it is a completely almost shot for shot remake of the first one. Same plot, same ending, um, just a different monster to fight at the top of a building. And then on top of that. This should, this should have been called TMT because there was no freaking ninja in this movie whatsoever. Mm. Teenage Mutant Turtles. That's all it should have been. That's it. Freak, I think I see that one. Forget the ninja. <laughs> so yeah, that was my least favorite. That's how I like my Turtles movies. When no, no ninja. ninja. No ninjaring. Yeah. Uh, no ninjaring. <laughs> Can we trade my best? No ninja. He has a lot of trademarks. I, I come up with I've a gone, lot of words. I've gone broke <laughs> trademarking all of these things. <laughs> One day they're going to be working something. I'm going to come up with my own dictionary. Uh, yeah, I like it. You're going to spell it dictionary? D- dictionary. D-I-C-K. Yeah. Yeah. Big letters, dictionary, very small letters on the bottom. <laughs> Just a small rebuttal. It wasn't that bad. It was horrible. It wasn't that bad. It was better than the first one. Um... Yes, Michael Bay had his fingers all up in this junk, mm-hmm. uh, but um, <laughs> exactly, it was junk. <laughs> no, he. Had, I was using that as a metaphor, but uh, it was not that bad. It was fun. Yes, they could have used more ninjaring in it. <laughs> any, any ninjing, any ninjaring, <laughs> anything at all. Say that five times any, fast. Any, any of it would have been great. A ninja being like, oh, what are you doing? Ninjaring. Yeah. Ninjaring. I think I'm going to do some ninjaring later. <laughs> yeah, so I just, the little rebuttal for that one. I, I, I see how it wasn't a great movie. It was an amazing, it was an amazing. It was no Ridiculous <laughs> Six. That's for sure. No but Zohan. It, de- it definitely deserved higher than the two points that he gave it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so now we're going to go on. We're going to move on to... Uh, Annoying moviegoers. Oh, I forgot all about this. You did? Yeah. Well, that's. I got one already. Oh, well, that's perfect. You. (laughs) (laughs) Is it because I took two kernels of your popcorn the last time? No, it's because you always want to like hold my hand and stuff. (laughs) That's true. I'm always trying to. I'm always like rubbing him in the movie theater. I'll just do mine real quick. My mine is uh, kids in adult movies. Um, I can't stand it. Mm. Um, it doesn't even for me. Any movie after 7 o'clock, no kid should be allowed in anyway, <laughs> even if it is a kid's movie. Um, in the summer? 
Yes. Any any time. There should be a, a a time limit there. It should be seven thirty. Hey, under fifteen, you're not allowed in here. See, my my biggest complaint is that that's kind of I'm gonna just pony off that because. Uh, piggyback off that. That's what I'm pony off that. Yeah, I was gonna say, that. Pony, I'm like falling into your pony your, your, your dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> He's pony backing off of this one. I'm pony backing here. <laughs> I'm pony boying <laughs> off of this here. Um, so my it's the same thing as I hate when parents bring their kids to like rated R movies, especially late movies. Like it drives me up a wall to mm -hmm. see these kids in here like that are six five six seven years old and they're in seeing all this vulgar like vulgar um you know well profanity there's lots of nudity there's you know all this stuff that's going on all this extremely violent fighting and crimes and stuff that are going on like there's no way that a five six seven year old should be exposed to that um and i am going to be very hard on that it's like there there should be like a rule like you cannot bring your child in and then i also hate when babies are brought in because you the people are like oh my kids will sleep during the home well yeah. if they don't then they disrupt the whole movie theater so you're you're taking like so if there's a big explosion. Your child wakes up. Now he starts crying or she starts crying. Now the whole movie is losing out on the experience. They just spent 20, 30, 40 dollars to go see this movie. Like it's that's a big no, no. I mean, we, we get the same annoyances, but we have for different reasons, I think. Yeah. I could care less if you bring a kid to an R-rated movie. I, oh. I have nothing to say with that. that. That's your kid. Do what you got to do. But make sure it's at three o'clock in the afternoon, not when I'm not there. <laughs> so I'm I don't like the kids that bother me during the movie. That is annoying when they're like sitting there and like, well, because a seven year old, eight year old doesn't have like they don't have the ability to just sit there and focus the whole thing. So they want to talk and they're like the whole movie. They're like, Dad, did you see what happened? They just did this. And they did that. <laughs> My son does that. But I go to him. I go. I, I, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm watching the movie with you, buddy. Like, I, I get it. I, I saw, saw it. I saw it. It's yeah, right in front of it's me. Right there. I don't need it Shut narrated. Mouth, We're put good. Put the popcorn in your but mouth. And we don't need up. to be like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and have the whole movie narrated to us from well, the from the, uh, the actors because that's what was maybe happening. the kids do. Oh, this whole the the, the, the uh, what is that thing called? The uh, tetra the, the pterodactyl or technodrome? The yeah, it's good being formed together by magnets. No crap, Donatello. I can see it happening in front of my eyes. Uh, yeah, so just keep your kids at home. I'm going to pony back on that one. <laughs> yes! Pony back in! Pony back on the pony boy. Let's go. What do you got? I'm going to go 14-year-old couple whose parents decided they're not allowed to date. <laughs> That's very ones, specific. You know the ones I'm talking about where their parents were like, no, 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 you're too young to date. So they both decide they're going to meet at the movies. Mm -hmm. And then they never sit in the back row. They're always like, not in the front row either. Just like mm, third row in. Hmm. And then halfway through the movie, they're like making out and sitting on each other's laps, and you're like, "Am I gonna get arrested for like?" <laughs> yes. When I walk out of the theater, yeah, like, I'm I, trying to watch a movie here, but I keep like eyeballing them down there. <laughs> that is, that does happen from time to it, time. Oh, it happens. I don't think I've ever witnessed that. Never. No. We've been and with and with and with the new months. seatings now. <laughs> yeah, with the new seatings. Yeah. No, I, I mean, like maybe. Am I kidding? I don't know. Thirty years ago, I was so yeah. Um, with the new seating and stuff now, you really can't see stuff that's going on in front of you and stuff. I mean, in some of the theaters. Yeah, because like, I mean, like the no recliner seats and stuff. I mean. I don't know. The I'm ones that, I'm not, I don't well, know. if you don't I have don't, stadium seating, like in Waterford, I just don't like pay to the people in front of me. Like I just Waterford don't like doesn't have stadium make, as seating. As long as they can make all they want, as long as they're making no, not making noises. I mean, wow. as long as they're not going. Oh, oh. For, most fourteen-year-olds are not. You know, <laughs> really standards. Yeah, most most fourteen-year-olds are not the best at making out. So there's probably a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> I just think they're Channel sipping on their stuff. soda. Yeah. <laughs> hey, keep drinking the down over there. Stupid kids. Where are your parents? Get them out of here. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> now, I think LA's got a right with, uh, they got the, like the Mommy and Me movies. Yeah. Where they go in and you know it's all kids. Our dad's not allowed to go? No. Oh. Damn it. That's discriminatory. <laughs> That's just the way it is in LA. They don't care. <laughs> They don't care what you think. They're not gonna anything. do. They're gonna do what they want to do, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm very offended. You know, my, the place I go get my oil changed. They have ladies' night or ladies' day. Like, yeah, seriously, where Tuesdays you can get your oil changed for like half price. Where's the guys' day? Come on, I want to get my change for or, half price. I think the same Shame thing about bars. Uh, yeah, exactly. Bars too, yeah. Like ladies' half off. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm men's night. I got a nice wig. I want to go to men's night. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want half price off my beers. I'm not there for the ladies anymore, so <laughs> no, exactly. I'm, I'm there drinks. for the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all right, so we got all our movie annoyances here. Uh, we think we think we got them out. Oh, you got, got any more? more? Oh, what do you got? Um, guy who takes the way it was written in the comic books too seriously. Ah, <laughs> Can't thank enjoy you. the movie. Oh, thank you. Mm, interesting. I like it. Yep, my co-host. Shout out Jamie Bohas <laughs> from the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> um, he's that guy because he will go to the movies and he's super, super, like, you know, notes everything that happened the way it was written in the comic books. He can't just go to the movies and enjoy and be it. like, that was great. Mm. It ruins his, not even his day, it ruins his week. So he'll be like, nope, that should never have happened because this character knew this. And, this. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm smiling. I'm like, that was great. This is mm. wonderful. Did I know people that? like, I like, know mm. people like that. So, mm. yeah, it is very annoying. Yeah. So, about like I'm that guy. I, 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 sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I am that guy. No, I wasn't even saying you. I know, I know other people that. But are there's like sometimes that, that I. Does there are certain things, mood? but it's usually like it has to be, it has to be involved. Like it has to be like something that's should happen. Like there can't be a variance of this character. But it, for the most part, I'm usually pretty welcome to like changes and stuff that movies because I'm there to be entertained. As long as you're entertaining me. Properly, <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> so I feel, or like, um, I know we're doing movies, but TV shows, Gotham. Mm -hmm. So I think you know, obviously, Gotham's not written the way that everything else is written. You know, it takes its artistic liberties. He refuses to even watch it. It's good. How dare they? I think it's awesome. I love that show. It's good. It's very he campy and over it. the top at times. But you know what? You know what you're getting into. Yeah, like, and I know that I'm not going to sit down and be like, "Oh, this is specifically how it was intended to be." At this point, I don't think you can really pinpoint how anything was intended to be in that universe. But it doesn't ruin my day to sit down. So and watch you it. you said his Jamie. 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 Yes. I will say Jamie. I got uh, a friend. A friend of ours is Brandon. Brandon mm -hmm. Blaine, DJ Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. um, he turned me on to the show. I, I saw the, the trailers for the, the, the TV show and everything like that and didn't like it. I was like, I'm not going to watch it. I am, I am nervous about how they're going to treat Bruce Wayne as a kid. I'm nervous how they're going to treat um, uh, Detective Gordon and all that kind of stuff. I was like nervous about how everything was going to be taken. And then he was like, dude, it's pretty good. I was like, all right, fine. I'll, like, I'll watch the whole thing on Netflix. I'll check it out. I watched it. I got sucked in after like the third or fourth episode. I like the way that they, you know, they kind of use all the characters. Uh, I'm still not 100% sold on uh, Catwoman, uh, a cat girl at this time. Uh, I'm still not 100% sold on her. I do think she's a decent actress, but there's something about her that just doesn't sell me. Um, but I love the way that they're treating Bruce Wayne, a young Bruce Wayne. Love Alfred. He is mm -hmm. such a badass in this. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, they do a great job with, with Gordon and all of his counterparts. They have the commish that comes in for a little while. He's great, too. Um, Michael Chiklis, he's so good. Uh, it was, it's just a really well done show. It's, it's not 100% canon, I guess you want to say. But uh, I think it's a definitely a good different take. That they're I agree with everything you just said. You haven't watched the show. No. Not one, <laughs> not one second of it. Um, the one other thing that I wanted to point out, though, is in, uh, I think it's in, uh, in England somewhere. Mm -hmm. They actually have movie ninjas. Yeah. Speaking of ninjaring. Oh my God. So movie what they do is like if people if people are in the movie and they are talking or using their phones or something like that, these guys come out of nowhere and are like, boom, they get the get the <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes. How do you apply for that job? Yeah, seriously. Uh, that wouldn't happen in in America. No, I mean it's it I'm should. surprised nobody's gotten punched there. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the with how America is going now, without mm. getting too deep into it, it yeah. would never happen here. Yeah, that's it's it could be dangerous, but it'd be nice to have that. No, it would be. It's an awesome. Concept. There's like a there's a nice theater like in L. A. somewhere that um, they they actually if somebody has their phone, ushers come like they're ushers patrolling the whole time. Mm. Somebody comes out with their phone, asked to leave right away. Yeah, like so so and basically L. A. Don't get. Keep there's just a one, this one theater. I can't remember what the name of it is, but they really take it seriously, which is nice because mm. I wish more theaters did, but mm. you just can't staff that much. It just costs too much. Yeah. People sneak in candy all the time, Brian. And, Brian. Uh, you know, when they do that, they can't make their money. They need to pay all these employees to go and usher and tell people to shut up. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. To the trailer park? Nope. Oh. We're going... Two. But first, let me take a selfie. This is Brandon's. Yeah. So that's right. Party in here right now. 
the first time you take a selfie, it's kind of the where they do use social um, social media to kind of market movies and stuff like that, where they post pictures and sometimes they do Instagram photos and little posts or videos, Snapchatting, all that kind of stuff. Um, and the first one that we're going to talk about is the Entertainment Weekly that just dropped that came out um, uh, around San Diego Comic-Con, the, the beginning part of it. Mm. Um, and that is uh, Skull Island, the new reboot for King Kong. And the director had said that this is going to be the biggest Kong we have ever seen on screen. Mm. So do you, have any, do you have any excitement for this movie whatsoever? And if so... Are you excited for King Kong versus Godzilla that's going to be happening in probably like four or five years? No to all your questions. <laughs> really? Did you see Godzilla? No. I'm sad. Keep on asking questions. Keep asking questions? Yeah. Um, How was your day? Hmm? Oh, the, yes or no. Yes or no <laughs> questions only. <laughs> Do you love your parents? Yes. I <laughs> yes, I got you back on track. I don't love <laughs> that they don't love me on the podcast, but... <laughs> Because you say no to everything, that's awesome. I meant about this. Uh, yeah. Like, King Kong, no. I've never seen any of them. Uh, I say you should watch the Peter Jackson I've King seen, Kong that came out, but skip the first four. I take minutes. it back. I've seen the old Godzillas, like the yeah. original Godzillas. Those are good. I remember seeing them at my grandparents' house where he fought, like, the big yeah. giant. They're Mothra in the big suits. And, they got those guys that are in suits. And the little and Asians suits. running around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Is that, yeah little yeah. Asians. Yeah. yeah. Godzilla, Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Another <laughs> spot-on impression. <laughs> oh, Godzilla! <laughs> All right, so... I Do know. they have Asians in the new ones? I hope so. Like in the, yeah. the recent Godzilla, yeah. is there Asians running around and he's yeah. stomping on them? Let them fight. Stop. How many does he stomp on? Uh, no, I plenty. I take back my I hope so from that. Plenty of people get stomped on. Like, do they show it? I don't remember. Like, when he lifts up his foot, like, they, like, kind of slide you off. You have the guy... <laughs> like that? No. <laughs> I just know. randomly eating rice on yeah. the side of the road and <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We're, you said you wanted hate mail, so here we go. We're doing it. <laughs> All right, what do you think Asia. about this? What do you think about this, Carly? Um, I am for any movie that has a giant skull in it. Yes. So I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited that you're excited. Uh, yeah. This is I'm interesting. Excited. That's an interesting the way to look at a movie. Giant. That is a Although, huge you skull. Know, you know what the thing is though in this day and age, you know how easy anything is to kind of like CGI or mm. backdrop or anything. Where it's like it's cool, but I feel like back in the day that would have been so much cooler if you knew yeah. they actually built that. Yeah. And someone was actually standing in front of that because yeah. you know it was just them in front of a green screen like mm -hmm. pose, mm -hmm. and then they put it behind them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree I'd with be, that. I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. But I'd be more excited if I knew there was a giant skull that size out yeah. there somewhere. Well, maybe, would... just maybe, <laughs> they'll get, you'll see them, like, walk through the mouth or something like that. And you'll know that it was actual practical effect, <laughs> like, in the movie. And then you would be like, you know what? That that shot that the Entertainment Wheelie really yeah. took was awesome. Mm. Great. <laughs> um, you know, you have uh, Loki over there, Tom Hiddleston, poke his head out through one of the eyes mm. or something like that. That'd be great. <laughs> Come out, snake through the nose. <laughs> The, like the new playground at like McDonald's. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I would watch that movie. <laughs> McDonald's. It was that just idea a, a movie about McDonald's and <laughs> a big skull in front of yeah. McDonald's. I, I can't wait for Skull Island. I can't wait to see all the monsters that are going to be on there. I can't wait to see how big King Kong is. I am so looking forward to King Kong vs. Godzilla, and I hope King Kong destroys him because King Kong's my boy. So I love. King Kong. I actually really enjoy the one that Peter Jackson did uh, several years ago. When I saw that opening night, we went with all my friends. Um, one, two? And, yeah, it was like all <laughs> like one of us. Um, I was by myself. And, and that was your mom? <laughs> yeah. Your mom? No, my mom's and not my friend. <laughs> your mom and your sister. <laughs> all your friends. <laughs> my mom paid a dowry to Christine to get me out of the house and that's how I got married. <laughs> Um, she gave away two goats and a couple of dogs. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, um, I can't wait because th that movie was good. The first 45 minutes, not great. It was okay. They didn't really need that in the story. But after that, the next two hours, two hours and 15 minutes were just great. It was mm. fun. A lot of fun. Love seeing Godzilla, yeah. King Kong. They're great. I agree with you. I can't wait to see them. No, you don't. <laughs> and then they might even do a crossover with Godzilla, King Kong, and the Pacific Rim. Oh man! The Jaegers and the. Can't wait. The, yeah. That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 
love your personality, Chad. I won't even wait till that one's on Netflix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Next photo up is. I wish I had her uh, her music right now. Mm. That was a great music in that mm. in that movie. Mm. You got a few pictures here with uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Mm. Looking good. Yeah, looking fierce. Mm -hmm. She definitely fits the look of the role. Mm -hmm. And what for what we got in Batman vs Superman, Chad did not really like the movie, but for what we got. I thought she did a great job, and she was one of the... Man, everybody's falling over. <laughs> um, for what we got out of her, and she even, like, look at her bicep there. She's got, like, a little, little, little cannon C going CGI. right there. Yeah, you think so? There's somebody, <laughs> there's somebody blurred out and, like, <laughs> holding her muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, she, she's looking like a badass, so I'm, I'm excited to see the movie. I can't wait to see the movie, actually, um, because I've heard a lot of, like, positive things being said about it. So... I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I'm gonna give you a little uh, little thing that the the director came out and said. I think it was the director. It might have been like the producer or something like that. But she said, for a long time, people didn't know how to approach the story. And when Patty and I had our creative conversations about the character, we realized that Diana can still be a normal woman, one with very high values, but still a woman. She can be sensitive. She is a smart, independent, and emotional, but she can be confused. She can also lose her confidence. She can have confidence. She is everything. She's a, she has a human heart. So like, that is what they were saying that they were I think that's total BS like how did they not know that she could be a woman I mean wonder woman she can be a woman she can be, actually be a woman she doesn't have to be this stoic Amazonian princess like she could actually be a woman with with emo, with real emotional feelings like I don't I don't know why they, that help. was so hard to find out and how hard to figure out but like they have her like at the house doing like vacuum cleaning and yeah. They don't, the dishes it's and stuff, not a, like yeah. just a normal housewife. It's not a throwback. <laughs> she makes a sandwich. Yes, Husband she uses that home. nice, nice sword to <laughs> cut the the PB and J in Real half. Real mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. <laughs> 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 we got issues right now. Tang, we got issues right now. <laughs> she stirs Tang like a boss. <laughs> Can we talk about the Entertainment Weekly article? That sure, you sent? go ahead. So my favorite part about that was the beginning, like you know, teaser to get you into the article was um, how, how, how do you say it? Gal, Gadot? Gal Gadot, yeah. Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot whatever. Gal, mm -hmm. However you say it, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, it was talking about you know she talks about why Patty Jenkins is the is the perfect fit to be the director, and I'm like all into this. I'm like, yeah, why is she the perfect fit? Like, why did they pick her? And then the entire like sentence about it is. You know, because she's a woman, and she was a she was a girl <laughs> once upon a time. Mm, yeah. And I'm like, that's it? Like, that's 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 how you chose? That's all you have to say about it? That mm. was literally the entire article premise was about why did we pick her as a director? Like, Ratatouille was about a little mouse that, mm. like, made food. I don't think being a rodent was required <laughs> to direct that one. <laughs> Maybe it was. I don't know. I'm maybe, maybe the fantastic movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's, that's one of my favorites. Yes. Yeah. It, maybe that. Maybe the the director was a chef who befriended a mouse at one point in time <laughs> and had dreams of them cooking together. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was it. Uh, she, she was a woman who was a girl. Once yeah. Upon a time, as opposed to the women who mm -hmm. weren't once upon a time. She, she once, once fantasized about being Amazonian. Yeah, that's good enough she's, for me. She's she's yeah. she's a large yeah, brooding that's good woman. For me. Yeah. 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 Why not? Don't want to talk about it. What? The Wonder Woman. No, it's just a, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she's a woman. That's yeah, good enough. <laughs> Did you hear anything else that anybody said? <laughs> I fell asleep like I'm gonna fall asleep during this movie probably because it sounds like it's gonna be boring as hell from what I've read about it. I heard it was gonna be all about her family and this and that. And you know her family is a bunch of Amazonian like, uh, boring, like warriors. Boring. And plus, <laughs> I've already seen her once and that movie sucked. So, But did she suck in the movie? No, she didn't suck in the movie. You also went and saw Independence Day Resurgence. Yeah, well, you Batman and Batman versus though. Superman. Was He's gonna it. go see it. He's no, gonna, I'm definitely gonna go see it, but I'm gonna make sure that I sleep like 12 hours before, so I'll be wide awake, <laughs> not fall asleep in this one. Get because, your soy milk espresso shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get two of Hopefully these things. Five people won't be ahead of you. Yeah, uh, it just sounds boring to me. I'm, I don't know. That's how much you got it though. Even I but, feel like you have to go. Move the mic over. Closer to her a little bit. We can be friends. Yeah. 
Move it, move it, move it, move it. You'd like to move it, move it. We good now? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm just looking that your voice is a lot higher than hers I on the like on the be. spectrum over there, because you're loud. Well, I am loud. Yeah. So you don't have to dive into the mic. So your, your voices are. <laughs> I'll talk. To you're more. so loud. Yeah. Actually, can you get a little bit further out? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not uh, this movie. Uh, the picture, uh, she looks good, and she, like you said, she fits the part. I guess. I mean, I don't know what part she's supposed to fit because I don't even know what Wonder Woman looks like in the first place. Like so, that. <laughs> I thought she looked like different. that. Like that. I thought she looked different, like in the pictures like that I've seen in the, the old comics. But I, who, who, who for? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. It's very similar. All right. Very similar. I agree. They took a little newer liberties with her. I agree with outfit. everything that you're saying right now. Everything? <laughs> Just to get me to shut up? Yeah, I appreciate pretty it. Pretty much. <laughs> I wish you would do that more often. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we are going to go on. And I didn't. I, we actually saw a Magnificent Seven yep. trailer. We're going to one of the trailers. And that is this little thing. In or out of the movie trailer park. In or out of the movie trailer park, where we talk about movies, trailers, and uh, if we're in or out based on the trailer. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty much it. That's it. That's we it. watched three because we watched one right before in the lowest quality <laughs> possible. Because <laughs> we watched it on this, and it looks kind of bright uh, on the screen. Like if you're watching it through the video, it looks pretty bright. But when we're looking at it, it's much darker. <laughs> much darker. So, and the, the, the trailer wasn't very well lit I couldn't throughout even see anyway. Denzel Washington. <laughs> I didn't even know he was in it. <laughs> and there's the hate mail. If he, if he, didn't, the if he didn't smile in that one scene, oh, I would have never Jesus. Heard. <laughs> Someone watched the trailer for me. Oh, <laughs> man. I just heard a voice and that was it. Oh. I just saw a hat sitting there. It was a very dark trailer. <laughs> you could see Denzel Washington. Dark and had moments of darkened tone. The color was dark on the screen. No problem seeing Chris Pratt. No oh, man, goodness gracious! All right. So anyway, um, you can send your hate mail to uh, <laughs> MadChad at <laughs> MadChad22 at gmail.com. <laughs> um, anyway, so we watched that Magnificent Seven trailer real quick. Just give me your quick thoughts on it, and if you're in or out based on the trailer. Chadwick. Oh, uh, uh, after watching this one, yeah. Out. Really? Yeah. That's why I don't like trailers. This one looked terrible. Looked god awful. I hated everything about it. What? The first trailer was great. I was all in, ready for it. This one. Really? <laughs> Where's that sound bite? <laughs> oh, let me see if I can find it. Ready? <laughs> yep. Yeah, there you go. There it is. There and I go. love Chris Pratt. He's my favorite. He's he was good. He's, he's like my new Dane Cook. He's, like he's, like in, he's got the comedic timing, yeah. comedic talent that he's out there, and that's what he's doing. It's unfortunate that he does that in every movie, but... But yeah, no, I'm out now. Wow. I'm still going to see it. Yeah. I mean... Well, I know, but you're out. I'm out for trailer. this trailer. Right. I'm in for the other trailer. What about you, Carly? In Denzel. That's all I have to say. You're De in Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know you rolled like that. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of things you don't know. <laughs> in dot Denzel. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Put that one in the dictionary. There it is. <laughs> Oh, Denzel. Riding that horse is going to be tough. <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I, based on the trailer that we watched, I really enjoyed the trailer. I'm looking forward to it. It seems like a little bit more of a fun take on the, on the Magnificent Seven, and I can't wait to see all of these characters get together. I can't wait to see them you know, put it together in kind of like a more of modern time. I love Westerns, so I'm all How about this. How horrible was the song that they played? That's they played terrible. A Kanye a, West song. I know. In a Western. They're doing a lot of that with, with these movies What was that movie with, that came out years and years ago? It was uh, Medieval Times. Maybe that's why Conway went bro broke, because he's like, here, I'll pay you to put my music <laughs> in your trailer. Knight's Tale. Remember Knight's Tale? Yeah. It, it was a, a medieval movie yeah. that had... Like modern the YMCA music. in it. Yeah, it didn't have the YMCA. Yeah, it had like We had, Will Rock You. It had a modern, yeah. Okay, it so it wasn't YMCA, but it was. Yeah, no, it was that like dumb. That movie was awesome. No, the movie was good except for the music that they no, played. No, that was great. Keep it was a good it to fun medieval screen. music. Why? Yeah. Remix it or something. I thought it was great. Fit perfectly. Medieval spin on it. Did not work well in Peter Pan. Well, they did like. Do you think uh, Kanye West worked in this one? No, it was I don't think Kanye West worked anything in the last fifteen years. <laughs> uh, don't make fun of Kanye, all right? He oh. was good back when he was doing Gold Digger. 
Yeah, and he's still good. Yeah. He's just got to stop running his mouth. Yeah. He he's puts out some good stuff still. Yeah. Come on, him. Where's that sound bite? <laughs> <laughs> I got another one. Uh, um, okay, there's no defending Kanye right now. <laughs> he's running for president next time. It's going to be him vote. versus Trump. I would vote for him. <laughs> he's got my vote. Wow, over Trump? <laughs> it's going to be a tough one. I would have to sit down and like think about that one. Yeah, you'd have to really go over what their what their. <laughs> I want to see what Kanye's views are. <laughs> yeah, his views on everything. <laughs> but Border Patrol and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he has a lot of good ones. Don't they buy my shoes? We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, uh, all right. So then we watched another movie. Hmm. It's the Edge of trailer. Seventeen. We another movie, movie trailer. Movie trailer. The Edge of Seventeen. All right, let's go work. Let's work. We'll work our way back. I'll start off. Edge of Seventeen. For one, I thought it was. I think it's going to be a pretty good movie. It's going to be nice. Uh, a nice little story about a girl in high school. Um, one of the things that I have an issue with is they're making her out to be like this ugly duckling of a person. Yeah. And I hate when they do this with these girls that are like supermodels on the side. Like they not only, you know, do that, but they're on the cover of 17. They're on the cover of, you know, all of these different magazines because they're actually very pretty. She is not an ugly duckling. She would fit in fine in high school. She'd be at least the middle of the road. So I got a question for you. She wouldn't be wanting to kill herself because her best friend is <laughs> dating her brother. So I got a question for you. <laughs> if they're casting for this movie and they need a quote unquote ugly girl, yeah. how do you think that real ugly girl is going to feel if they're going out casting somebody be like yeah you're ugly you're going to be in this movie as an ugly person um she's working so probably pretty good and they don't have to get somebody that's ugly i mean they do that with guys and girls all the time in movies yeah but you can't go out there saying you're looking for an ugly girl and be like no they, you're that's too, you're they too do that you're too they, cute you're too, they line them up and like no you're yes too cute. yes you're definitely i, I think so that I happens all the know. time I in hollywood like, like Husky chick number four would disagree. Yes. I think that's what they were cast for. Uh, I guess so. I guess I'm different. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how that You're happens. It, it, no, it, I'm not sensitive. I could care less. They cast me for the big guy, you know, yeah. in the background. I'm, yeah. I'm all for it. But, yeah. you know, girls are a little bit more sensitive sometimes. Yeah. Like, especially in that age range. Like, they're, you know... 18 to uh, 24 you. but like yeah you're ugly you're that's ugly enough to be this it's in a this movie. that's why it's a brutal business like they, mm. that happens all the time it's all right. body shaming all that kind of stuff i agree just, i agree with you yeah on everything you just said and then uh, but i did love the chemistry between woody harrelson and her like woody harrelson is awesome mm. and i loved his just kind of like he's she's like i'm gonna kill myself and he's like ha! Yeah, okay. Mm. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, he's my list, yeah. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. Let me tell you. Let me preach to you here for a second, little girl. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the movie I am, I think is going to be entertaining. Um, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing it. So I would say I'm, I'm on the fence, but leaning towards in. Mm. All right, what about you, Carly? Um, I was kind of on the fence in the beginning of the trailer. And I was like, well, you know, I'll see it. But it's not one that I think I'm going to go out and see until the end with the text message. And then I was like, oh, that's yeah. just, that is that's just great. Where he's like reading the, the what's Woody Harrelson's reading. Mm. No, right, it's not that bad. Because he's like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should do that. Maybe you should go kill yourself because there's no coming back from that one. <laughs> For me, that was the only redeeming part of this whole trailer. Really? Oh, so great. Uh, the looks terrible. It's horrible. For someone who loved the duff. The duff, the duff was good movie. You loved it. Did, yeah, no, I said it was a good movie. Yeah. This does not look funny at all to me. Come like, on. I feel like this one's supposed to be more than just a comedy. And it, yeah. it looks you know, more it's, serious. It's going to be a dramedy. <sighs> it looks like it's going to be a Dramedy coming of age kind of. A boar fest. That's what it looks like it's going to be. Man. I'm out. You are like very angry today. Out. He's grumptacular. I'm just mad because you didn't pick the trailer I wanted to talk about. La La Medea's. Land. Halloween special, whatever it's called. <laughs> I said I wanted to boo pick bitches. That is so good. I wish I had that sound bite. I do have it somewhere. Yes. I but I didn't. I don't have it in the thing right now. I laughed in more in that trailer than I did in any other trailer I've seen in the That's last so, like two weeks. We gotta see that together. Oh, we're definitely seeing that. We gotta that see together. that opening night. Yeah, and definitely. we we are gonna. I'm gonna be in the in the audience. Only white people. People are gonna be like the annoying moviegoers. <laughs> people that say boo bitches in the middle of the movie. <laughs> we're gonna be the opposite. Why? We're going to be the only white guys there, and we're going to talk <laughs> during the movie. <laughs> Jeez. We're going to be the Chad's in rare form. Oh, oh Send God. all of your uh, your hate mail to madchad22. At, is it at Gmail or Yahoo? 
<laughs> I don't know which one it is. It said uh, Hotmail. Hot. Whoa. <laughs> no. So apparently he is from 20 Net, years ago. Netzero.com. Is it AOL? Netzero. And that's <laughs> Netscape. I'm um, so. Yeah, yeah. I still use I, ICQ for my chats. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! You never used ICQ? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. God, I don't. I have no clue. I want to do chat rooms. I'm bringing chat rooms back. Let's do it. Yeah, we can have our own chat room. That's where we'll finally make our mark. <laughs> <laughs> Bring <your> chat rooms <laughs> back. <laughs> uh, mm. All right. So I think I'm in. Carly's in. in. Chadwick is out. all about being furthest out on away. everything. Furthest away you can possibly get. Furthest? Wow. No. You're going to drop your uh, cable subscription? I'll if yell they, to you. If they put that on HBO or something? I don't even something? have cable. Oh. I would drop it again. I would get it just to drop it. <laughs> 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 if I knew it was going to be yeah, on TV. The guy comes there, does the install, yeah. and you're like, wait one second. Hold on. Don't I gotta leave I'm going to make yet. a phone call real quick. Don't leave. <laughs> all right. Now you can unhook everything. Wrap it back up. Get out of here. If I saw that it was going to be on TV, mm -hmm. on cable... I would order the cable, wait for it to just come on at like 6.59 when it comes at 7, and cancel. Right cancel then. real quick? Right then. Why? Right. Because you're playing this movie. Yeah. Excellent. Can I cancel my cable for two hours, please? All right. Well, this is a movie I'm hoping <laughs> that Chadwick will be in for, and that is Sharknado, The Force Awakens. <laughs> um, I have yet to see any Sharknados, and I feel like this one is one that I am never ever want to see it looks even more horrible than any of the others and i i i kind of want to see like the first one maybe the second one just to get into that you know that 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 click that everybody's in and that, that has watched those movies and enjoyed them and laughed at them because they're just over the top stupid movies corny. that hurt so good yeah but i haven't yet i don't want to watch it by myself because i feel like i need somebody in the room to laugh I'll at come over with. anytime you want me to all right Maybe we'll plow through all four of them. Let's do it. Marathon time. <laughs> <laughs> you think that the movie theaters will go out and they'll they'll do like what they do with like all like the Marvel movies and they'll play like all of them for like twenty four hours and then you come in and you finally watch the last one. You think they do that with all the Sharknados? Maybe my birthday next year I can get Mystic to like show all four of them <laughs> for my birthday. Not tell anybody. <laughs> tell people that they're going to see Jaws. <laughs> block off like ten hours of your life, all right? Because we're watching all the Sharknados. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, there was nothing that even really kind of made me laugh about this movie um, while I was watching it, the, the trailer. There's nothing that made me really laugh, um, except for seeing David Hasselhoff. That's always great. That's it's always, always a great cameo. Always a good cameo. So, SpongeBob. Other, was yeah, great. that was awesome in that. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Oh, Dodgeball. Dodgeball was another good cameo. Yes. <laughs> he was so mad at that German team. <laughs> he broke his own picture. <laughs> Yeah. The so, Hoff. So for, the, for this trailer, I watched this trailer, and I'm like, yes, yes. Yeah. Tara Reid might come finally get her Oscar nod this year. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a few Razzies, probably. And I'm sure she's going to get another one. She went downhill ever since Van Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> she went way downhill. <laughs> she said it was a slippery slope. It was like slope. A, slowly, a slow fall after the American Pie movies, and it's like... <laughs> That was a steep slope that she fell off. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm in for this movie oh because <laughs> I've seen the other three movies and they are just ridiculously ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you just want to be watching a ridiculous yeah, movie. Yeah, why not? But you I got to have to wait because it comes out on cable. So. But the the trailer, you liked? You liked it? You thought it was going to no, be in terrible. line? No, But you thought it was going to be in line? Like the Fire Nato they're, they're, or whatever the hell it was that they had in this? They're little... Um, the Fourth Awakens is terrible, for one. Um, well, they show Tara Reid with the lightsaber. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> all right, what about you? I'm still on the fence. First of all, it's a time commi commitment issue. I haven't seen the first three, so I feel like if I'm going to see the fourth one, mm -hmm. I have to do the first three. But when I see Tara Reid in the trailer, I feel like I'm watching those... Um, little animal rescue commercials with Sarah McLaughlin in the back where I'm like, oh, I got to see this because we got to keep this girl working. I'm, I'm sure they pay her like a hundred bucks and she's happy with it. Like a hundred bucks and like a, and a bottle of vodka or something. hundred more than it. Pop off? Yes, yeah. It's just they like, actually took Dubra. Dubra, yeah. Pop off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they just, yeah. She go, goes right at it on this. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, poor Tara Reid. She actually thinks the sharks are real. <laughs> that's the thing, yeah. And that's what makes it so good is she actually thinks the sharks are real, like yeah. flying I around. I find it funny when she's going to market the movie. Like, you can never tell if she's drunk or not. I mean, she's always, like, off her rocker a little bit. But I find it funny when she's marketing the movie because, like, she actually thinks that they're putting out like quality stuff sometimes. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, this movie's really good. Like, yeah, it's amazing. The, the the performance of Ian Ziering was uh, definitely the best I've seen him in I a think long he was time. Just, uh, in down the street at Patty's last weekend. <laughs> really? He was marketing some clothing line or something. Sharknado man brought him back. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on somebody's post, and I'm like, I don't know if this is fake or not, but. Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't go check him out. Ian Ziering's a good looking dude, at least. No. I mean, he's, he's got looks going for him. I wouldn't put him on my top 10 list, but. Well, no, I mean, he's no Ryan Reynolds, but. <laughs> come on. No Chris Pratt. I mean. No. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. Well, that's close. That's a close one. That's a close call. If I'm going with. You know, looks and talent, then I'm going to definitely side with Chris He's Pratt. Zach Pratt, Pratt, Pratt. <laughs> Zach Galvanakis. <laughs> he rocks that beard very well. <laughs> um, all right. All right, man. We're all, I'm I'm slightly in on that. You're um, I'm on the fence. I'm more yes than no. Yeah, and you're definitely all in. But now. I'm running from the other trailer to jump over the fence and jump in on this side. <laughs> <laughs> so now. Let's tackle that trailer. <laughs> We have something. Something? Yes. Something. Something. <laughs> Find it. Time to play the game! <laughs> what, what, what do you want? I want to play a game. That's right. The chat is here to play a game. Jigsaw is actually going to play it. Oh, okay. Excellent. He's Let's the host. <laughs> Do, All right, do, so do, do, I, do, 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 we do. don't really have any idea what this what this game is about. Yeah, we'd even go over it. So Chad is going to explain to us the rules, and then he's going to ask us some questions or something. Right. So each category is going to have four possible points. Um, I'm going to give you three movies, mm -hmm. okay. and you're going to list these movies what you think made the most domestically in the box office. Oof. Now, for that fourth, for each one you get right, you get a point. Okay. For the fourth point you got to name the actor or actress that is in all three of those movies. Ooh, okay. So... Is it called How Much Does Carla Not Know? <laughs> I made it real simple, so... Oh, well, I made it kind of easy, so... Yeah. Um, we didn't flip a coin or anything, so uh, we should, we're going to... Do you want to go first, or do you want to go second? I'm going to rip the bandit off. Let's go. All right, okay. Ooh. No cheating. <laughs> it's not getting closer. It's not the microphone. All right. So, the three movies that I'm going to give you are... From 2007, Fred Claus, 2003, Old School, hmm. and 2004, Starsky and Hutch. Hmm. So I have to name who's in them. You you can name you can name the the person first, or you can just do the list first. Whatever whatever you feel more comfortable doing. So I have to name how much it made. No, nope, you just yeah. gotta list it in the order that you oh. think made the most money domestically okay. in the U.S. One more time, read it to me. Uh, we got Fred Claus. Okay. We got Old School, mm -hmm. and we got Starsky and Hutch. Old School, Starsky and Hutch, Fred Claus. That's the, that's the order, and who do you think? Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn is correct, so you get one Booyah. point for that. <laughs> the order mind. is uh, what made the most is Starsky and Hutch. God damn. With $88.2 million. Mm -hmm. Lies. Second was <laughs> Old School with uh, $75.6 million. Mm -hmm. And last was Fred Claus with 72 so you got one point uh no you get two <laughs> points because fred claus was the lowest one right. so you got two points there that's 50 percent. that's not a bad batting average all right all right so shane yeah we're gonna start off easy for you first easy we're gonna go 1989 oh god born on the fourth of july oh jesus and then we're gonna go days of thunder from 1990 mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go 2010 night and day Okay, that I know that uh, that's Tom Cruise. Yeah, you get one point for that. That's my boy. Yeah. Well, we always have the whenever we have news about him, we always call it the Cruise News. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. So, um, I would have to say the one that made the most money domestically. So we had Days of Thunder. You said Days of Thunder, born, born, born on the Fourth of July, yeah. and Night and Day. Domestically, I would say Night and Day uh, is the most. Second most is. Uh, born on the 4th of July, last of Days of Thunder. 
And then Days of Thunder. All right, so the correct order <laughs> <laughs> is Night and Day. You get one point for that. Yep. Second is Days of Thunder. Damn it. So you didn't get that one on. And obviously, you got the last one wrong. Yeah. But they were all really close. Uh, Night and Day made $83 million. Uh, Days of Thunder uh, Days of Thunder made $82.7 million. Ooh. And then Born on the Fourth of July made $70 million. So that was and the you got easy Tom one? <laughs> and you got Tom Cruise. So you got two points. All right. Two to two going into round two. Mm. So I'm going to start you off with... Who's going? Who's going here? We're going back and forth. So... All right, uh, all right. Um... End of Watch, 2012. Scott Pilgrim versus The World, 2010. Hmm. And then Pitch Perfect, 2012. Wow. Um, Pitch Perfect. Scott Pilgrim, the other one. End of Watch? End of Watch. End of Watch. And who's the actor or actress that was in all of them? The McLove... No, not the McLove... The... Uh, the I don't know. I don't know his name. It's not a him. <laughs> nope. It, you give know. up? I give up. Anna Kendrick. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So you got one right because um, Pitch Perfect did make the most with sixty-five million, and then uh, End of Watch was second with forty-one million, and then Scott Pilgrim was third with thirty-one point five million. So you got one point there. How many rounds are we doing? You get three. Three, three rounds. rounds. Okay. All right. So your next one. So how many points you get? One. That one. Yeah, one. She got one point. Uh, so your next one is Prometheus, 2012, mm-hmm. Thor, 2011, and Pacific Rim, 2013. Uh, Idris Elba is the actor. No. Yes. Keep going. Oh. I can't. I can't tell you if you're right or wrong. So what was end. the first one again? Uh, Prometheus. Prometheus. Thor and Pacific Rim. So. Yeah, I would have to say Idris Elba would be the actor. Um, the order would be uh, Prometheus, Thor, and Pacific Rim. So Pacific Rim made in that, like, close to two hundred million, I think. Uh, I would say Pacific. No, I'll say <laughs> this is a tough one. The these. Uh, um, dun, dun, dun. Well, I don't know how much Prometheus made. I, I can't remember. It's, it's, oh, Scheiser. I don't remember either. Too. All right, you're on uh, the Thanks. Clock. <laughs> 10 seconds. Right? All right, 10 seconds. All right, I will say, um, what was the last one again? The Prometheus, Thor, Pacific and Rim Paci- and Thor. I'll say Pacific Rim, Thor, and then Prometheus. All right, so you got the, the name right. It was Elba. Mm-hmm. Uh, the correct order is Thor. Uh, no, yeah, Thor is number one. Damn it. With 181. I thought that was too good, too easy. Number two that. was Prometheus with 126.5. So I got them all wrong. And then third was uh, Pacific Rim with 101.8. I know it made like, it made 400 million worldwide. So you got one point there too. So going in, it's three See, to three. I don't, three. Know, I don't, the, the, I don't, don't want the domestic the, numbers. I know the world Going numbers. into the final round, we are tied up. Mm-hmm. Final four points right here. So we're going to start with 2005 Batman Begins, 2014 Lucy, 2003 Bruce Almighty. That was a tough one. Morgan Freeman. Yep. Nice. Tell me him again. Uh, Batman Begins, Lucy, and Bruce Almighty. Batman Begins, Bruce Almighty, Lucy. The correct order is first is Bruce Almighty Stop with two, 242.8 million. That just, I'm, no. Number two. <laughs> number two. You're wrong. Number two is Batman Begins with 206.9. So she got one? And then Lucy, she got correct with 126.7. Oh, All right. So she got two correct. Lucy made a buck. Goes of money into worldwide. the lead with five points. Ah. You need three points to win. Two to tie. What happens if we tie? I don't Light, know. Lightning, lightning round? It's just the mini version, so we didn't round. get that far. This is the beta version. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a tough one for mm-hmm. you because I threw a curveball at you. Freaking A. So we got 2013, The World's End. Okay. 2011, Paul. 
World's End? The World's End. The World's End. 2011, Paul. Mm -hmm. And 2004, Shaun of the Dead. I'm getting I'm getting two movies confused. The World's End, and then there was one. Is that the one with Seth Rogen or Simon Pegg? Paul, well, you said, so it was World's End. The World's End, 2013. Paul? 2004, Shaun of the Dead, and 2011. Oh, Shaun of the Dead. And 2011, Paul. I thought you said Shaun the Sheep. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, who the hell was in that? <laughs> um, I don't think they had anybody. Um, I will say Simon Pegg is the the actor. And Keep then going. the so the the movies were The World's End, Shaun of the Dead, and Paul, you said? Is that the order you put it in? No, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, trying, yeah, to, yeah, I'm those are the th trying to remember all the names. Uh, I will say the one that made the most money was Sean, Sean of the Dead. Second was Paul. Third was World's End. Are you scared? I'm very, very scared. <laughs> all right, so I don't know domestic. The so. correct order is number one is Paul. Really? Yep. With 37.4 million. I never saw that movie. Number two would be. The World's End, which made twenty six million, and number three was Shaun the Dead. Was Shaun, the Shaun of the Dead with thirteen point five million, and you did not get the right. I don't know the other guy's name. Nick Frost. I can't remember his name. I was either gonna go with Nick Frost, whatever one you said. Yeah. I was going with the opposite. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Because I wanted her to win. Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I don't remember the other guy's name. Uh, anyway, you only got one anyway, yeah. even if you got Simon Pegg. Yeah. So that puts you at four, unfortunately. Yeah. And that makes you a loser. That's true. Uh. <laughs> but we have a winner. <laughs> the guest, Charlie Kingsley, comes through. What kind of host are you? <laughs> that was a good one. I figured you'd get that one. That was uh, a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I thought you would got Anna Kendrick. I know. Like I thought that was the the the. Well, the I knew I knew that there. just for you because <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. he's in love with her. Yeah. So definitely. All right, huh. so now that uh, I'm completely sweated through my shirt after that game, <laughs> that's um, how you're gonna get more subscribers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the stank of vision going. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a little thing called uh, it's it's not really Attack of the Sequels, but it's kind of Attack of the Sequels, and that's just where we. Uh, come up with movie titles, names, and stuff like that that we either think should never have been made or that should be made or really whatever kind of spin you want. But you want to kind of almost sell the movie uh, for, for whoever. Just oh. see if we can get people to go on it. Maybe get a little discussion going back and forth. I don't know. Let's have a little fun with it. Okay. I don't know. All right. With Chad. Chad has a couple. So I'm going to start off with you. Let's, get, let's, let's go see what you got. Independence Day 3, Resurging the Resurgence. <laughs> <laughs> they actually bring Will Smith back okay. from the dead yeah. <laughs> to fight off a, um, a, a spaceship that's ten times bigger than the one that's ten times bigger in the second one. Jeez. <laughs> that's no joke. <laughs> They're not going to be able to get that in the shot. They'll just have like, a little speck that's Earth and then show the big giant. But it's thing. 20 years from now. Oh, so he's like old years? and he, he he fights like in rascal scooters and stuff. Does he play Jeff Goldblum's heart? <laughs> well, my original st was he's really not dead. Mm -hmm. He's actually on the side of the aliens now. Oh. And he has to come back and fight his son against his son <laughs> in 20 years from now. <laughs> and Bill Pullman's going to be like 90 at that point. Is he going to punch his son in the face and go, welcome to space? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to punch each other at the same time. <laughs> And then a vortex is going to happen. They're going to go back to the original. <laughs> yep, that's mine. All right. Independence Day 3, Resurging right. the Resurgence. Resurging the Resurgence. I would go see that. <laughs> Don't. <Good>. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Carly. What do you got? What do you got for us I here? I have three. Mm -hmm. Oh, three. You want, you, want, you want your hate mail? Ready for Uh-oh. Um, the Purge 4, hashtag All Lives Matter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chad's email? Uh, what, Matt, Matt Chad that. 22. But you had your nod of agreement. You had, <laughs> no, I said that is that is wrong. <laughs> right, um, from one of my all-time favorite movies, um, Kindergarten Cop, hmm. Welcome to Junior High. Okay. 
So we're going to mash up kindergarten cop and the edge of 17. Ooh. Oh, a, big ball. a callback from earlier. Interesting. I like and we're going to put it out there. I like oh, that. all right. So Arnold's going to play like. Oh yeah, the the role of uh, because no, he actually he's just gonna have a cameo. Oh okay okay all right. It's gonna be kind of because Dolph Lundgren. Came but out. I was they, they did a sequel. Dol- they have Kindergarten a sequel too, and it's with Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. So is he gonna be in this one too? Because that would be awesome. It's gonna be like an Expendables kind of cast, like <laughs> excellent. Going on. The Expendables beat Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> Ronda Rousey's gonna play a nanny. <laughs> It's Sylvester Stallone comes in as the 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 principal that you can't understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He's gonna call Arnold Adrian by a, by accident a couple of times. Bruce Willis is gonna be a janitor. Uh, I like it. I would go see that movie. John Claude John Claude Van Damme's gonna be the gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Playing all the frisbee. <laughs> Just dude jumps and everything. <laughs> all right, my last one. Back to the Future Four mm. nomination. And it's going to be spelled Back to the Future, large four, little b in front of it. So it's going to be Marty McFly and Doc go back to stop Trump from getting the nomination. <laughs> back to the before. So they kind of they kind of did that in Back to the Future when they stopped, um, what's his name? Uh, Biff. Or, Biff. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, there's Biff. That, when, they, when he came back to stop Biff. I was going to say that's, Beefcake. That's, yeah. <laughs> beefcake <laughs> that's who Biff Kind of acted like he yeah. was like the the he was going to be like the president. He had like his you know hologram on the. They were forca- the, they were foreshadowing. Yeah, yeah they, they did. See they stole my idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so did you have another one? You had another one, right? Yeah, yeah. I have another one. Um, I only have one, so I, I went with uh, Major League Four. Ooh, the the big rematch. It's where they bring back all the the original cast mm-hmm. and they're playing slow pitch softball. Excellent. With, with the, the Yankees team that they had to play in the finals. Mm-hmm. I mean, outrageous. So what are they going to do about, like, Wild Thing? Like, is he just going to, like, throw very sl- long, like, slow pitches that High are going to almost hit him? Yeah. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> they have plenty of time to get out of the way. Yeah. How does, they're how gonna does gonna Joe Boo miss that? <laughs> <laughs> they're all going to be in, like, on walkers and stuff. Like, Fantastic. Just, yeah. I like I like that. Is they they still gonna have their the the, the general manager the president? Of the Everybody's team? coming back. Yeah, yeah. the orange haired lady, whatever her name the is. The announcer's coming back. Yeah, I signed them all. Are they gonna have that 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 little picture that they have that where they undress her as they go along? Because it's gonna look a lot different yeah. now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it, definitely. <laughs> They're gonna have the uh, the guys, the fans, still the the Indian. excellent wild thing. <laughs> you make my heart stink, or whatever Nelly says. They're gonna bring them in on a, a golf cart because literally you can't walk in. Excellent. So they're they're gonna bring them right to the mound and <laughs> <laughs> slow pitch softball, major league. You know what? It'll and be better new, than back to the minors. His new his new name is gonna be the slow thing. <laughs> Oh, Charlie Sheen. We need him back, man. Yeah. He, and, and I only, it's 50 and over slow pitch softball. Because he just up. turned 50. Did he? Yeah. Oh, so he's one of the young ones. So he just, he just qualifies for the league now. So that's the, that's the big thing. They're waiting for him <laughs> to turn 50. Mm-hmm. Now, now that he's 50, they're in now. Are they going to rehash and like, he's got to get out of prison again and he's going to come back in or? He, they No, they got to, they got to take him from the retirement center. That retirement he's center? Yeah. He's only 50. Yeah, but he's he's had a rough life. He has. He really has. Yeah. In real life, he has. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, they're literally gonna get Charlie Sheen from <laughs> just from, gonna... from rehab. <laughs> that's the opening sequence. Him walking out. Yeah. It's, re- case, it's yeah. really Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So Major League Four. All right. So the one that I have is a little bit on a se- more serious note. And it's not really more serious because I took a very serious movie and changed it into more of a sequel type movie where mm-hmm. you get more explosions and stuff. And mine is Braveheart 2, mm-hmm. Brave Harder. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the tagline, because the original tagline was every man dies, not every man really lives. In my tagline, it's every man dies. Well, not every man. <laughs> Because William Wallace is going to come back, and he is actually, he actually is, because there's a scene in this movie where he, t- he talks about it like, yes, William Wallace is known to kill men by the hundreds and, you know, shoot fireballs out of his eyes and lightning bolts out of his ass. Like, he's actually going to be able to do this in the next one. And when he comes back, they're going to have him on that 
that little torture thing that they have him on where he's yelling freedom and then when he, when that's what they're going to leave on that's where they're going to come back yeah, to oh yeah. he's going to be on that and he's going to be when he's just going to be like freedom bitch and then he's just going to come out and then lightning bolts and all that kind of are going to be shooting out of everything it's going to be amazing it's going to be so amazing and he's still going to give that epic speech but in a different way <laughs> interesting is that a brave heart that you'd like to watch we're gonna have Chad pick time appropriate music so he doesn't complain about it. Yeah, Kanye all Kanye. the way throughout. That would make me want to go see it. <laughs> Kanye actually, in a movie. it's not gonna be Mel Gibson that's gonna be playing it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Samuel Jackson. He's actually gonna wake up and say, "Freedom, mother." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm I'm all about that movie. If you can put Dave Chappelle in there somewhere, I'd be in. Excellent. Yeah, I can find a I find a spot for him. Yeah, I definitely put Dave Chappelle in. He there. could play Mel Gibson's son. <laughs> well, you're, you're young William Wallace, so he'll be Billy Wallace. <laughs> I was actually gonna, I was actually coming up with one too that instead of like uh, an all black cast in Medea, uh -huh. we could do the all white cast in Medea. Sweet. And just have all white people play all the black characters in them. Excellent. <laughs> you think we could do that? They're doing it. They're, they reversed it. it with Uncle Buck. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's a TV show. Yeah. They do that all the time. Hmm. We could do it. Uh, like uh, literally us? Yeah. Like, we can do that movie? Yeah. Let's do it. Boo bitches. Yeah, I'll get I'll get I'll get in my brother. He'll start he'll start recording. We're gonna do He won't want his name attached to it. <laughs> well we're gonna have to call him like uh, uh what's his name? Tyler Perry. Yeah. We're gonna have to call him like you know, <laughs> something along that line. Casey Perry. Casey Perry, yeah, we can do that. Per Perry Tyler. Tyler Moore. <laughs> Perry Tyler. <laughs> Casey Tyler Moore. There we go, Casey <laughs> Tyler Moore. <laughs> Casey Tyler Moore. <laughs> Listen, if you're in, seriously, we're being serious right now. <laughs> Our Kickstarter campaign. You know what to do. <laughs> oh man, GoFundMe. Just like uh, about the Teenage Mutant Ninjaring Turtles. Oh, Ninjaring God. Turtles. <laughs> yes. As long as we get some ninjaring, that'd be great. And then we'll do a sequel called Teenage Mutant Ninjaring the Ponybacks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Pony backing. Pony backing. Pony Hashtag backing. pony backing. Pony backing. <laughs> oh, this show is so off the rails. That would be like Always having a Bruce Lee movie where he does no it, kung yeah. fu. It's like his serious role. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a movie I wouldn't want to see. Jackie Chan. When he cries. Does Jackie he, Chan in a serious movie. When he cries, is he like, oh, 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 oh. does he do that when he cries? Jackie Chan in a we serious movie would be bad. Yeah. yeah, because he would be talking serious, but in his well, said he was going to retire butchered, from actions. Butchered English. Yeah, <laughs> I'd watch it. Let's do it. Yeah, no, I'm talking dead serious though. Like it's yeah. like a crying movie, but you still got to get through his broken English. So you'd kind of be laughing, but you would be laughing, but he'd be talking about his daughter dying or something. Oh, that'd be terrible. Mm -hmm. But it would be broken English, so it would be kind of funny at the same time. <laughs> Send all your hate mail to Mad Chad yeah. Twenty Two. <laughs> At ICQ or whatever Boom. the hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't man. get me started today. Oh my lord! I'm on I guess a rampage. Not. Well, that's pretty much it for the show. And you can find us uh, YouTube.com/slash The Movie House Maniacs. Mm. That's where the show is. That's where you're gonna get this later today, hopefully. Shout uh, out to Cliff. I don't... Cliff, I don't know you, but you seem wonderful. Cliff, you do know Cliff. You worked with him, didn't you? Oh, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna edit that out right there. <laughs> 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 I told Cliff I'd give him a shout out. So nice. Shout out to Cliff. Nice. Shout out to Cliff. We got a shout out to the uh, a new subscriber, uh, the Bruvs. They do uh, their own. They have like the little uh, YouTube channel where they do uh, some some I think skits and stuff like that. Um, so I'm actually they, we just connected on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, and they just hit us up on they subscribed on our channel, and I, I told them I was going to check out their show. So hopefully by the next time we do a show or uh, this in a brief or something like that, I'll be able to give a little shout out even more. Mm. Maybe tell people which one to go check out because mm. I really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, so we have that. You can also hit us up gmail.com, the Cinebros. Yes. Where can people find you, Chadwick? Uh, you can find me on Twitter. DJ Dizzle 82 is D J D I Z Z L E 82. DJ Dizzle. I've been working 82. on that. <laughs> I've been working on that hard. He's right been now. working to spell his own name. <laughs> also, check out my my podcast. It's audio only. You can find it on um, on the iTunes page. 
that we had the center bros yeah you can also find it we post it on twitter and on face uh facebook mm -hmm. the name of that show is past the f and popcorn yeah. um y'all should have named it for shizzle dizzle <laughs> <laughs> Shizzle, dizzle. Next next week I get Snoop Dogg as a guest. That'd be fantastic. Um, I would I would gladly listen to that. Like I I listen to all your I podcasts. You don't about, listen to it. Now? I listen to it, but like that would be amazing because anything Snoop Dogg is does is amazing. Yeah, I mean he has a, he has a brilliant voice. Well, you're gonna be listening because he's coming to the house this week. Did water. you see his Burger King promo? No. <laughs> so Burger King came out with hot dogs, and mm -hmm. they had yeah. Snoop Dogg do their training video. That's nice. amazing. I gotta check that Mind. out. Blown. That's yeah. amazing. I have watched his uh, narration of the uh, the wildlife channel. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. So good. For so for busy. real, my guest this week is going to be Douglas McSnuggles. Douglas McSnuggles, <laughs> DBA? DBA. Yeah. Uh, we just went and saw Ghostbusters, so he, he's going to come on the show. Doug, Mr. Burns. Um, I'm trying to line up some people for uh, Star Trek because I have no idea any, about anything about Star Trek. So <laughs> I'm hoping I, can, I have a friend that is into Star Trek. I and, heard it was very good. Uh, well, I don't know. So, <laughs> But I will be viewing it. So it's Now that they have a gay character, finally, finally they have a gay character. So now... It's gonna be great. Don't get me started on that. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I, I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, no, you don't like it? No, I don't. I don't care. But I don't <laughs> see why they have to make it a big deal. I don't know either. Yeah, just make yeah. them gay. It's and awesome. That's it. cool. Don't have to make an announcement I hope, about it. I, one thing I hope they don't do is they. Do, I hope they don't do something corny like, like he's like you know having an argument with somebody and he's like. Those shoes don't go with that dress. I hope or he don't do like, something stupid. Talk like to that. the hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, yeah. I hope he doesn't do something I'm stupid. Out. I hope he just acts like he has in all the other movies. Yeah, just keep it. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to go like the stereotypical. Like that. You don't need to go that route. Just keep it normal. Keep it kosher. Kosher? I don't know if that's the right word to say there. I think this Whatever. is the wrong show for you to say that. <laughs> I'm Jewish. Hello. <laughs> um, I think I'm done with my plugs. Cool. Where can people oh, find? And, oh, and wait for my uh, my my announcement. Yes, your announcement. I'll announce it on my podcast, and then we will announce it on this coming podcast. out later this week, right? Coming out later this week, probably Wednesday. And I might be doing a center brief later this week, right. so if I do, we'll we'll plug it on that as well. Yes, and then we'll plug it on there next. Got to get the password week. and all sorts of stuff. I can't mm -hmm. wait to can't wait to hear about all this. Are we stuff. doing another show next week? Um, maybe. Maybe. All right. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave in touch. I I, I have some family stuff that's coming up you got it yeah family stuff <laughs> my daughter <laughs> um anyway so um where can people find you carly Hi. kingsley <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on twitter at carly kingsley um i have two shows uh coming out at the end of july season two of hot in the kitchen so i'm gonna call that the resurgence now nice yeah. resurging Re the resurgence, resurgence. Yeah. <laughs> resurging the resurgence. <laughs> and i have a new show coming out with bridget cordero that's called speak the rest kind of like meet the press with everything that's missing yeah mm. but follow me on twitter for those announcements and mm. we'll be up soon awesome nice. and you can obviously find her her little handle right there at carly kingsley right down below like right below darth vader helmet <laughs> Yeah, like near there. That's okay. close enough. <laughs> that's close enough. You can find her there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the show today. Thank you guys for coming on. Thanks, Thanks for guys. sitting in this hot oven of a that's basement. It's pretty warm. Yeah, no, it's real hot. <laughs> like, I should wear that black shirt. <laughs> uh, this, this this blue shirt is not uh, handling it well. So. Oh yeah, sh shirts are going on sale too. They are? No, I don't know. Oh. They should be. Why I they buy one? I've, I've actually had people say they wanted to buy them, but I, I need to find a better place to you buy know, them. You know, Kat Pielli, who did our did the design, yep. and everything, I think she did a very good job with the original logo and yeah. everything. She's done all of our logos pretty much. I think she did a very I, I good job. I thought the logo it. came out really good, but I just it don't looks like nice. I don't like the the shirt itself. It's too heavy. It's um, feels like it's gonna shrink you really gotta easy. Sell it, not make people not want. No, no, I'm no, I'm telling. Them, I'm gonna go out and buy some quality shirts. Like I'm gonna uh. get some. You know, the real deal shirts. We gotta find a, a site like T Public or something like that where you can just you have your design set, and then they and then people and can just it. go and buy it. Yeah, because well, you, can, you, you can't you do that on um, what's the name of that site? It's really popular. People go on there and Cafe do artsy Press? stuff, oh. artsy stuff, and they sell it right on the website. Etsy. Etsy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you can, but I, I think you have to. I don't know if the, you can. They supply the shirts. Like, they take a cut, 
and you get a little bit of the money hmm. from the shirt because okay. you provided the logo. But no, but yeah. I'm gonna have some shirts made up. I, I do have some people that want to buy them. Cool. I want to get the price down. I want to get, you know, now that they have the logo and everything, it's gonna mm-hmm. be a little bit cheaper. So awesome. I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to. Uh, maybe we can. We gotta get a site like that though, like T Public or something like. Because mm-hmm. we could come up with some pretty cool names like Braveheart, Brave Harder. Dude, dude we got to <laughs> like, come on. We gotta get a Penetron shirt. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> no, we have to. We have that, to get a Penetron that shirt. That could be... Um, well, I could see some people wearing Hot that. Hotcakes right there. <laughs> yeah. Hotcakes. We could get... Th- I just want a shirt that says Ninjuring. Uh, ninjuring? Yes. I the, might get in trouble for it, but... TMNT. I want a shirt that ends says... for Ninjuring. <laughs> <laughs> I want a shirt that says, I'd pony back that. Yes. There yeah. you go. Yes. <laughs> see, there's so many. Shirts galore. It's just, we just, just need somebody to design them. <laughs> It's just us, like I'm on your back. Yeah. And pony back in. <laughs> pony back in off you. How would you? So I would have to actually get on all four. So you're actually like a pony. Yeah. And I'm like running around. No, we said keep it PG 13. Uh, That's PG 13. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're dressed. We'll be dressed. <laughs> well, one of us. Well, will for be. that. Yeah. For that shoot. One of us, I'm not sure which one. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, listening. However you saw this, you can catch it on podcast, uh, on iTunes. Type in Cinetalk. Type in maybe even the Movie House Maniac. You might be able to find it there as well. Cinebros, you can probably find it um, if you type it in on iTunes. And if you uh, look on YouTube, once again, youtube.com slash themoviehousemaniacs. So thank you guys for coming on. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Hopefully we, uh, we haven't done this in a while, so hopefully we get those 500 plus views that we have been getting. And uh, we had a very popular person on our show. Sully? Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you were talking about No, yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about Sully. <laughs> no. We have found That's out. That's not Sully? What the hell? We've, we've uh, found Mike Wachowski, out. right? Mike Wazowski, yeah. <laughs> we have found out over and over again people don't like hearing us. <laughs> no, they, they, they hate me. Like, they hate me. <laughs> I can name off some people that hate me, so, yeah. Uh, All right, guys. Thank you. Peace. Peace. If you watch the show on YouTube, please click that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you watched on iTunes, please rate and review us. And thank you for watching.